Okay, we are back again. Now, next is that parallel resonance that is two branch circuit. We have taken a simple two branch circuit, right? So, your, uh, your this is R L O L that is one inductive branch and this is one capacitive branch, all right? So, it is R L L omega and it is R C your X C, right? So, this is we have to see the parallel resonance of this circuit. So, and why, why is the admittance, right? So, y is equal to your y is equal to that admittance is equal to y l plus y c, right? So, y l is that uh, admittance of this inductive circuit. So, it is 1 upon r l plus j x l and this is your plus 1 upon r c minus j x c, right? So, now this one numerator and denominator this one you multiply by your r l this term you multiply by your r l minus j x l that means this one will be r l minus j x l right divided by r s r l plus j x l into r l minus j x l that is r l square minus j square x l square. So, j square is minus 1. So, it will be your r l square plus your x l square. So, just separate it it will be r l upon r l plus x l square and this one your what you call this will be your uh, my here it is taken common. So, it is minus x l upon r l square plus x l square imaginary side right. So, this is actually these two are real part. So, real part is r l upon your r l square plus x l square and imaginary part is minus x l upon r l plus x l square. So, here it is minus x l upon r l plus x l square. Similarly, for r c minus j x c numerator and denominator you multiply by r c plus j x c. So, real part is here and imaginary part is here right. So, let me clear it. So, this this means that means circuit is at resonance when the complex admittance is a real number. That means this one, this uh, this one, this imaginary part you set it to zero. This one you set it to zero. If you do so, it will become x c upon r c square plus x c square is equal to x l upon r l square plus x l square. Right? This is actually at omega is equal to this is at omega omega is equal to omega zero. The resonance frequency. That's why that wherever wherever we have make it x l is equal to l omega that is your l omega 0 right and x c is equal to 1 upon omega c that is your 1 upon omega 0 c right. So, this one you put it here that x l is equal to your l omega 0 and x c is equal to 1 upon your omega c that is omega 0 c and just simplify right let me clear it. So, this way if you if you just simplify that that is all right cross multiply this one you cross multiply and then you put it. So, each of the 5 quantities in equation may be made variable in order to obtain resonance. There are 5, five variables, right? There are 5 variable, variables, one is omega 0, then C, then R L, then R C, then L. So, there are 5 variables, right? So, in, in this case that each of the 5 quantities in equation 2, right? So, this is equation 2, this is equation 2, right? May be made variable in order to obtain resonance. Now, solving equation 1 that means, uh, rather than I will say equation 1 or equation 2 rather than I will say equation 2 because from equation 1 we got equation 2. So, you will get omega 0 is equal to 1 upon root over I mean you what you do is you from this equation say from this equation to find out omega 0 you do little bit of mathematical gymnastic right and then from that you simplify and then you do omega 0 is equal to 1 upon root over L c uh, then root over r l square minus l by c by r c square minus l by c. From this equation 2, you will get this expression. I suggest you please do it. I have given you the final expression. So, that one you get 1 upon root over l c, then root over r l square minus l c by then divided by r c square minus l c. Now, circuit will be at loop. For series circuit, uh, that omega 0 was, uh, the series circuit omega 0 was that your 1 upon root over l c only, but the parallel circuit, right? So, for three R L C circuit we have seen 1 upon root over L C for parallel circuit one factor is multiplied and this is this factor right. So, now when resonance will when resonance will occur that one condition is that your R L square because uh, your square root term uh, your uh, your under the root this term has to be positive. So, one condition is R L minus R C it has to be greater than 0 uh, uh, R sorry R L square minus L by C it has to be greater than 0. Another thing is that r c square minus l by c also greater than 0. This is one condition for resonance, right. So, you will get some value because this has to be positive, this has to be positive. 
or or this one has to be negative this one has to be negative such that R L square minus L by C less than 0 and your R C square minus L by C less than 0 if both are negative then it will be positive then you will get some value of resonance frequency right. But if uh, let me clear it, but if your what you if, if it if it happens that your R L square is equal to R C square is equal to L by C if this condition happen then it will resonate at every all frequencies right. So, now let me clear it. So, this is your that means does the resonant frequency omega 0 of the two branch parallel circuit this is one condition right it is it is your what you call this factor has been multiplied when the series R L C circuit is a 1 over root over L C, but with this factor this has been multiplied that is I told you this multiplied right. So, now for resonant condition I told you that R L square minus L by C greater than 0 and R C square minus L by C greater than 0 both has to be positive that means R L square greater than L C and R C square sorry L by C and R C square greater than L by C or R L square minus L by C less than 0 that is R L square less than L by C similarly R C square minus L by C less than 0 that is R C square less, less than L by C. So, this way resonant will happen right, but when R L square uh, I mean is equal to R C square is equal to L by C the circuit is resonance at all frequencies right that also I told you because that factor term will vanish right. So, now question is that if you solve equation 1 right for your what you call for L you will obtain something like this. I mean if this is equation 1 it is very interesting suppose from equation 1 right from equation 1. So, your uh, this one this one we call Z C square is equal to your R C square plus X C square this is my Z C square and Z L square is equal to R square plus X L square right. So, now let me clear it therefore, from this equation from this equation 1 from this equation 1 we will see this one that you if you solve for L you will get this you solve it I have done it for you, but this will solve it you will get L is equal to half into C half C bracket that Z C square plus minus root over Z C to the power 4 minus 4 R L square X C square this is equation 3 right where Z C square is equal to this is square right this is square this is square Z C square is equal to R C square plus X C square therefore, Z C 4 is equal to R C square plus X C square whole square. So, from equation 1 you please solve this one you please solve this one for your L. So, let me clear it. So, in this case what is happening that from this equation 3 that for resonance it has to be Z C 4 Z C to the power 4 minus 4 R L square X C square it has to be greater than 0 because it is square root. So, it has to be positive right. So, in that case you will get two values of L right two values of L for which circuit will your what you call resonance will happen right. So, another, another this is one another thing is let me clear it another thing is if Z C to the power 4 minus 4 R L square X C square that this term if it is equal to 0 you will have only single value of L right, but if Z C to to the power 4 if this term becomes negative then there will be no resonance right. So, let me clear it. So, that means whatever I told that Z C to the power 4 has to be greater than 4 R L square X C square the square root term this under the square root term has to be positive right. So, we obtain two values of L for which the circuit is resonant right. So, that is if Z C to the power 4 two values means because here plus minus is there plus minus is there. So, if Z C your what you call uh, your if uh, Z C to the power 4 is equal to 4 R L square X C square the circuit is in resonance at L is equal to half C Z C square. I mean if Z C to the power 4 is equal to 4 R L square X C square mean this term will be 0. So, that means L will be half C into Z C square right. So, that means the circuit is in resonant at L is equal to half C Z C square and when Z C to the power 4 less than 4 R L square X L square no value all will make the circuit resonance. So, the, this condition is there that we under root term square root term is negative then its question is that there will be no value of L will make the circuit resonance right. So, this is o for L similarly from equation 1 second you solve for C this is I have written, but I suggest you to solve so again from equation 1 you solve for C 
you will get another expression 2 L into 1 upon z l square plus minus z l 4 minus 4 r c x, uh, square x l square. If the square root term is positive right, you will get two values of e for which circuit will act circuit will resonance right. So, uh, uh, that and if z l to the power 4 minus 4 c square x l square is equal to 0, you will have only one value of c right 2 l upon z l square at which circuit your what you call is resonance circuit. Right, but if this term becomes negative, there is no value of C that circuit will become resonant. So, this is the condition, right? We obtain two values of C for which the circuit is resonant, and if this one is equal to this one, Z L to the power 4 is equal to 4 R C square X L square, the circuit is resonant at C is equal to 2 L upon Z L square, right? Again, this is for L, this is for C. Now, again, if you solve from equation 1 in R L if you solve for all L in terms of other quantities, what we are doing is each quant variable we are trying to find out in terms of others, right. So, if you solve equation 1 for R L, you will get R L is equal to this expression. This you do it in simple and that your what you call if omega square L C R C square minus omega square L square plus L upon C is greater than 0, then circuit is at resonance, right. So, this is for R L and similarly, if you solve for R C of the equation 1 only, you will get R c is equal to square root of R l square upon omega square L c minus omega square c square plus L by c. So, this is actually your what you call greater than 0 has to be greater than 0 for which circuit is at resonance right. So, L c R l your what you call R c right all 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 these things in terms of remaining variables we got it right. Now, question is that that in this this two in 5 and 6 I told you, but here it is written here whatever I said here it is written here right. So, this is your what you call that will have your resonance of your parallel circuit simple inductive and capacitive circuit. Next another term we define the quality factor it is called Q right. So, the quality factor of coils capacitors and circuit is defined by. So, quality factor sometimes for a circuit we define by 2 pi into maximum stored energy divided by energy dissipated per cycle right. So, for example, uh, it is it is it is called quality factor right of the coils capacitors and circuit. So, in general Q is equal to 2 pi into maximum stored energy divided by energy dissipated per by your what you call per cycle. Now, for example, consider a simple your what you call your inductive circuit that is this is resistance R this is your X L is equal to J L omega and this is the current flowing through I. Similarly, in figure this is figure 1 say this is figure 2 say it is, it is a capacitive circuit, it is R current is flowing I and it is your what you call 1 upon j omega c. That is 1 upon j omega c means it is minus your this 1 upon j omega c means it is minus j by omega c right. So, and this is your this is your this is your call x c and this is your x l, x l is equal to j l omega and x c is equal to your minus j upon omega c right. So, separately we are considering. Now, Now, the energy dissipated per cycle in the circuit of figure 1 and figure 2 is given by the product of the average power of the resistor and your what you call uh, in uh, that is your I R M S square R and the period T or 1 F. That means, uh, that means this is we are writing I your what you call I max by root 2 actually I max by root 2 is equal to basically your R M S value I R M S value right. So, it is R M S value. So, that means, power loss is equal to actually this is RMS value. So, I RMS square into R this is that your what you call that average power in the resistor that is I RMS square into R. So, we are putting it I max by root 2 square uh, into R right. So, and, and it, is, it is your what you call that power your average power of the resistor and the period T or 1 I uh, 1 upon F. That means, if, if this is your what you call this is your uh, average power say I max by root 2 square into R right and per cycle means is multiplied by this thing. So, this is your one your divided by F right. So, it is your energy dissipated per cycle in the circuit of figure 1 and figure 2. Figure 1 is inductive circuit and figure uh, 2 is a capacitive circuit right. So, in this case in the in the case of R L series circuit figure 1 the maximum store energy we have studied earlier half L I max square that we have studied right. Therefore, 
that q is equal to 2 pi it is maximum store energy half l i max square that means where we have written here the q is equal to that q is equal to maximum store energy by energy dissipated per cycle. So, in this case your this one is 2 pi half l your i max square divided by i max square by 2 because it is i max by root 2 square. So, whole square so i max square by 2 into r into 1 upon f right because this is actually energy dissipated your per cycle right. So, f is the frequency that is your say frequency 50 hertz means it is 50 cycles per second right. Uh, whenever whenever we say whenever we say a p is equal to a p is equal to 50 hertz that means it is 50 cycles per second right so it is per cycle so divided by f right so if you after simplification after simplification simply you will get q is equal to 2 pi a p l upon r that is your l omega y that is your l omega y r right so, that is your q for inductive circuit right. Similarly, in the RC series circuit of the figure to the maximum store energy is half C V max square or and another thing is that in that your what you call your what you call that your V max with that if you take x is the react x is the your what you call reactance of the capacitor magnitude will take therefore, V max right is equal to your x c into your i max right that is written here v max is equal to say i max into x c. Now, in that let me clear it. So, this is actually half c v max square capacitor your what you call energy store is a capacitor or if you use this relationship you will get half i max square divided by omega square c right. So, in that case your oh, what oh, in that just you substitute and put x c is equal to 1 upon omega c and just simplify you will get this I am not doing it it is understandable right. So, this the in that case for the in the case of capacitor the 2 pi half i max square upon omega square c divided by same thing i max square by 2 into r into 1 upon a right. So, if you do so q will become 1 upon omega c r right that means this is for quality factor for inductive circuit is q is equal to l omega by r and for capacitive circuit it is q is equal to 1 upon omega c r right. Therefore, a series RLC your series RLC circuit at resonance stores a constant amount of energy right. Now, now let us consider a series RLC circuit at resonance stores a constant amount of energy. Now, suppose this is a series RLC circuit say V r is equal to V r is equal to i into r current flowing through this is i right and this is my L. So, V l is equal to uh, this is voltage across inductor is V l and voltage across capacitor is V c and we are assuming that you are what you call say, say for example, V c is equal to V something I am writing here right say V c is equal to V. Now, say this i, i is equal to say i m sin omega t right this is AC quantity. So, so i m is equal to sin omega t. Now, voltage across the capacitor that is V c is equal to V, V is equal to V c just you have to integrate 1 upon c i m sin omega t dt. If you integrate it will be i m upon omega c minus cos omega t. So, we can we can we can write that your this cos omega t is sin 90 degree minus omega t, but one minus sign is here that means it will be i m by omega c sin omega t minus 90 degree. That means, here your what you call that current i is equal to i m sin omega t right and v voltage across the capacitor v actually it is uh, i m by omega c sin omega t minus 90 degree. That means, current actually is leading because it is omega t plus 0 and leading this voltage v is equal to v c right, voltage across the capacitor. So, uh, we have so that is why i m by omega c sin omega t minus 90 degree. Now, if you if, you, if it is sin omega t plot i m is equal i is equal to i m sin omega t plot. So, if in this case this is starting from 0. So, it is your i right. So, i is reaching the peak fast right. So, and in this case when omega t is equal to 0 when omega t is equal to 0 say is when omega t is equal to 0. So, i is equal to 0. So, this is starting from here 0 here when omega t is equal to 0 v is equal to i m by omega c sin of minus 90 degree when omega t is equal to 0 right. So, in that case sin of minus 90 minus 1. So, v will be v is equal to v c right that voltage across the capacitor. So, it is minus i m omega c that is why this this point is your minus i m by omega c right. So, when 
current is when current is reaching its peak that means this angle is 90 degree. So, when omega t let me clear it let me clear it. So, when omega t is equal to 90 degree then i is equal to i m right. So, this is my omega t is actually this is my your 90 degree i is equal to i m, but when omega t is equal to 90 degree if you put 90 degree then v is equal to 0. So, that is why v is equal to 0 because this is the curve for v. So, v is equal to 0. So, so car, car, current actually reaching its peak faster than the voltage. So, this current is leading the voltage by 90 degree from this from this we can make it out easily right. Therefore, it is written I leads V c by an angle 90 degree. So, therefore, since when the kappa now when the capacitor voltage is maximum the inductor current is 0 and vice versa when that means when capacitor voltage here it is this point is 0 in this this in the your what you call this inductor current is maximum or when inductor current is 0 this point capacitor voltage is maximum vice versa. So, from that your from that we can write that half C V max square is equal to half L I max square from which we get right then Q 0 is equal to may be written as omega 0 upon L I R that is 1 upon omega 0. CR right. So, actually your what you call from if half C V max square is equal to half L i max square from that you then you can that Q 0 is equal to your L omega 0 by R is equal to 1 upon omega 0 CR right. So, from this your what you call what you what you will do right this 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 is the equation this is the equation right. So, little bit uh, little bit you try to do yourself right so, many things I have done. I mean spending lot of time right little bit to do that, but one or two thing I am telling suppose this is my q 0 is equal to I mean you write separately say q 0 is equal to omega 0 uh, L by R and again you write q 0 is equal to 1 upon omega 0 C R. Now, q 0 into q 0 that is q 0 into q 0 then omega 0 L upon R into 1 upon omega 0 C upon C R. So, omega 0 omega 0 will cancel right or finally, it will become L upon r square c the q 0 square will become l upon r square c. So, let me clear it this is an uh, this is an exercise for you this is an exercise for you to do this little bit right. So, now if you now so this is your q 0 right now question is that suppose uh, before co before coming to this figure suppose that omega 0 current is maximum because uh, for uh, your what you call for resonance circuit we have seen that your at the resonance frequency series R L C circuit say that X L is equal to X C. So, in that case that your current is maximum and this current say it is I 0 I 0 is the maximum current at resonance frequency when omega is equal to omega 0 or F is equal to F 0 right. So, since the power delivered to the circuit is I square R therefore, at I is equal to we know that power I square R is the power delivered to the circuit. Therefore, suppose at i is equal to i 0 pi root 2 say the power is one half of the maximum value which occurs at omega 0 right. Suppose, suppose your this one we know i square r right. Now, when i is equal to say i 0 by root 2 then if this is the power loss p, p is equal to i when i is equal to i 0 by the root 2 then it will be i 0 square r by 2 that is it will be half p by 2 right. So, let me clear it. So, this is i 0 uh, this is your i 0 and this is your i 0 by root 2 right I will come to this. So, so power delivered to the circuit the power is one half of the maximum value which occurs at omega 0 right. Therefore, that means, uh, whatever what at resonance at resonance power is i 0 square uh, say r uh, I, I square r is equal to if i is equal to i 0 then i 0 square r, but at i is equal to i 0 by root 2 it will be half right. So, the points corresponding to omega 1 and omega are called the half power points. So, this is actually this one this one this is your i 0 by root 2 this is this is called half power point because i power loss is i 0 square r but if it become i 0 by root 2 it will be i 0 square r by 2. So, p by 2. So, this is called half power point. So, this is at frequency say this is 
your, your omega is equal to say omega 1, it is intersecting two point of this curve and this is your what you call omega 2 or f 1, f 0, f 2 or omega 1, omega 0, omega 2. The difference between this, this one, this difference between these two that is your what you call this from this two, I mean this, this width from here to here it is called your bandwidth right. So, that is your omega 2 minus omega 1 or if it is in radian per second or if it is in hertz it will be f 2 minus f 1 right and this is your resonance frequency this is called actually bandwidth time right and this omega when it your omega is equal to omega 1 means for series RLC circuit we have seen right that your what you call that your x l and x c e, x c e is your what you call greater than x l or other side your what you call x c e less than your x l that we have seen. So, these two point call half power point and the, and the, this, this distance we call bandwidth right and this is if it is omega radiated per second if it is frequency then it will be in hertz. So, so this is so, at half power frequency the net reactance is equal to the resistor. This is written at half power frequency net resistance your what you call is equal to the resistor because uh, here I am making it for you. Uh, suppose J d is equal to your R plus J for series RLC circuit X L minus X E. Two things can happen. If one is X L minus X E, it may your what you call we, because it is half power frequency may root 2 have to come right. So, it will be your x l minus x c may be r or x c minus a or what you call uh, a another thing will be x c minus your x l may be r two condition may happen right. So, in general if we take first condition that x l minus x c is equal to r ultimately mod x l minus mod x c is equal to actually r right. Therefore, j d is equal to one condition if you take it will be uh, your what you call r plus j r that means, this one will be your what to call root 2 r angle 45 degree and if j d is equal to r minus j r it will be root 2 r angle minus 45 degree either of this because mod x l minus x c is equal to r this is either one condition this another condition right. So, let me clear it therefore, your therefore, at half power frequency the net reactance is equal to the resistance right. So, that means, a circuit with high high Q will have a very sharp current response and response curve that is compared to compared to one which has a low value of Q. So, uh, we this uh, your what you call several uh, your, uh, your admittance versus angle other graphs are shown frequency right from that you can easily you can easily justify this one. Similarly, that uh, I told you it will be mod x l minus x is equal to R since at, o, o, at omega 1 the circuit is I told you you have very very beginning of this uh, of this topic again I am not going to the figure when your omega is equal to your what you call at omega 1 which is on the left hand side right of that curve. So, at that time x c greater than x l right x c greater than x l. Uh, so, x c your greater than x l therefore, at omega 1 x c minus x l is equal to r right and similarly at omega 2 when it is going to the other side x c less than x l or x l greater than x c. So, in that case x l minus x c is equal to r say this is equation 1 this is equation 2. See previously I have explained this right whenever you I, I suggest whenever you go through a video lecture first draw those diagram and after that you just uh, just uh, go through this uh, that video lecture then it will be easy for you to make it on the notebook. So, so if, if this these two conditions hold therefore, the corresponding impedance I told you one will be o at omega 1 j 1 will be r plus j x l minus x c that will be r minus j r that will be j 1 will be root 2 r angle minus 45 degree because it is root over r square plus r square and angle will be tan inverse minus 1 because it will be tan inverse your minus r by r. So, it will be minus 45 degree. Similarly, at omega 2 j 2 will be root over uh, 2 root 2 r angle 45 degree right. Therefore, at omega 1 I 1 will be that V angle 0 this is the voltage reference right divided by your impedance root 2 r angle minus 45 degree that will become V upon root 2 r angle 45 degree right. Similarly, at omega 2 your I 2 is equal to V upon root 2 r angle minus 45 degree since V by, v by r is equal to I 0 because at resonance x l minus x is equal to 0 
and for which current is maximum if x l minus x c is 0. So, z will be simply r therefore, i 0 the maximum current right. So, at resonance that is v upon r. So, the, the current at resonance will be your frequency at omega 0. Therefore, we can write i 1 is equal to your this is 1 upon 1 upon root 2 is there. So, and b, I mean this one uh, this one 1 upon your this term if you can write it will be basically uh, this term you look at the, this term if you see it will basically v by r upon uh, r upon i 0 divided by root 2 angle 45 degree that is your 0 0.707 i 0 angle 45 degree right. So, this one therefore, i 1 is equal to 0 0.707 angle uh, i 0 angle 45 degree similarly, i 2 is equal to 0 0.707 i 0 angle minus 45 degree, but at omega 1 at, o, at omega is equal to omega 1 x c minus x l is equal to r right. Therefore, that means that means whenever that is at omega is equal to omega 1 uh, right. So, omega is equal to omega 1. So, in that case your x l will be l omega 1 and x c will be 1 upon omega 1 c. So, the here you put this here you put this and this is say equation 3 right. So, let me clear it. So, similarly similarly at omega is equal to omega 2 similarly. So, x l will be l omega 2 and x c will be 1 upon omega 2 c this, this is actually when you are writing at omega 2 means it is omega is equal to omega 2. So, this is equation 4 and this is equal to r actually right. So, now, now what you do subtract equation 4 from equation 3 I mean this equation you subtract from this equation if you do so if you do so you will get 1 upon your 1 upon omega 1 plus 1 upon omega 2 or your uh, by c minus your what you call omega 1 plus omega 2 into l is equal to 0 or simply you will get 1 upon omega 1 omega 2 is equal to l c is equal to 1 upon omega 0 square because your because omega 0 is equal to resonance frequency is equal to 1 upon root over l c if you take the square of it. So, l c will be is equal to 1 upon omega 0 square. So, that is what we are writing here therefore, omega 0 will be is equal to root over omega 1 into omega 2 this is a good uh, your relationship and easy to remember that omega 1 is this side and other side. So, omega 2 minus omega 1 is the bandwidth and omega 0 will be your what you call root over omega 1 omega is geometric means right. Similarly, similarly you add equation a or add equation 3 equation 3 and equation 4 already equation 3 equation 4 we have got it. So, add these two equations if you do so if you do so and simplify you add and simplify you will get omega 2 minus omega 1 upon omega 1 omega 2 uh, c plus omega 2 minus omega 1 l is equal to 2 r right. Therefore, your omega 2 up upon simplification you take omega 2 minus omega 1 common. So, you will get omega 2 minus omega 1 your 1 plus l c omega 0 square divided by your omega 0 square c. Now, l c omega 0 square is equal to 1 because omega 0 is equal to 1 upon root over l c you know therefore, if you square it omega 0 square is equal to 1 upon l c therefore, cross multiplication omega l c omega 0 square is equal to 1. So, this term you put is equal to 1 such that 1 plus 1 you are getting 2 right. So, let me clear it. So, if you put that let me omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to 2 2 both side will be cancelled it will be omega 0 square c r right or that divide it is omega 0. So, divide by omega 0. So, omega 2 minus omega 1 upon omega 0 is equal to omega 0 c r this we have seen is equal to q 0 we have seen 1 upon omega 0 c r. So, it is 1 upon q 0 or q 0 is equal to w 0 another expression of q 0 is equal to w 0 uh, divided by w 2 minus w 1 right. So, it is basically q w 0 by b w bandwidth. So, this is equation 6 right. So, uh, so, these are your what you call these are the things certain things it is very simple thing only thing is that that little bit of understanding and mathematical your what you call um, uh, mathematical exercise there, but these are the very simple thing right. So, that means we get, we get this equation that omega 2 minus omega 0 is this one or or this thing your what you call this q 0 your q 0 
also can be written as omega 0 by B w that is the bandwidth and B w is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 right. Thank you very much, we will be back again.